Hello guys, let's discuss simple harmonic motion. We're going to start with kinematic of simple harmonic motion. In words, simple harmonic motion is defined as the periodic motion without loss of energy in which the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to its displacement from the equilibrium position and is directed towards equilibrium position but in opposite direction with displacement. When we say periodic motion without loss of energy, it means that it is a repeated motion going back and forth with no energy loss. As we can see here, the pendulum bob continues to oscillate. Next, it is also said that the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to its displacement from the equilibrium position. What is equilibrium position? Equilibrium position is the position at which the body would come to rest. So here, the displacement is equals to zero. As the pendulum bob goes further from equilibrium position, the acceleration is increasing. Then, the acceleration is directed towards equilibrium position but in opposite direction with displacement. As the pendulum bob moves to the right or to the left, the direction of the acceleration as denoted by this red arrow here is always towards the equilibrium position. Mathematically, simple harmonic motion is represented as A is equals to d squared x over dt squared which is equals to negative omega squared x. As we know, in simple harmonic motion, the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement and the negative signs here denotes that the direction of the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the displacement and the omega is the positive constant which we call that as angular frequency. There are some important terms in simple harmonic motion. The first one is point of equilibrium or we call that as fixed point where the displacement is equal to zero. It is also a point where the velocity and the acceleration of the body undergoing oscillation is zero. The displacement is measured from the equilibrium position. The maximum magnitude of the displacement from equilibrium position is called as amplitude and the unit is meter. Next, period. It is a time taken for one complete oscillation. The equation is t is equals to 1 over f and the unit is second. Next, frequency, which is the number of oscillations in one second. The unit is hertz and it can be calculated as f is equals to 1 over t. Last one, we have angular frequency, which is the number of oscillations per unit time. The formula is omega is equals to 2 pi over t or 2 pi f and the unit is radian per second. That's all for now. It's quiz time. Question number one. Which of the following is not an example of approximate simple harmonic motion? A. A ball bouncing on the floor. B. A piano wire that has been struck. C. A child swinging on a swing. D. A car's radio antenna waving back and forth. The answer is A. A ball bouncing on the floor. Let's see this video. As you can see, as the ball bounces, it will lose some of its energy and lastly cause it to stop bouncing. Hence, it is not a simple harmonic motion. Question number two. For a system in simple harmonic motion, which of the following is the time required to complete a cycle of motion? A. Amplitude. B. Frequency. C. Period. D. Angular frequency. The answer is C. Period is the time taken to complete one oscillation. That's all. Thank you.